Once you run the software, the first thing to do is to create a new sanitary sewer project through the available option at the file page. From this new project, you will find several options available, specifically at the Drawing and Settings tabs, which will allow you to fine-tune the needed information to create the urban sanitary networks in your project. If you go to the Settings tab, you will see the options for the selection of the units to be used in the different parameters involved in the calculation. From here, select the one you prefer. Then in the Calculation Parameters panel, you have the General button from which you access the General Settings dialog. There you are provided three tabs to specify default parameters and options for drawing, sanitary pipes, and manholes, as well as those to be used for the sanitary sewer network's design and calculation within your project. For this sanitary sewer network example project, we will keep the default parameters for now, but throughout these five videos we will be back to this dialog to set some changes, if applicable. Any changes you make to the units or these parameters in the general settings dialog can be saved into the application by pressing this button on the file page. Thus, any future new project created will use the saved default values. Additionally, in case you want to restore the default options built into the software, you can use the restore settings button. To accomplish this, you must close the currently opened project before pressing the button in order to make the necessary changes. Then, to work directly on the urban sector's plans in which the sanitary sewer networks project will be generated, you have the option to import a background image from a drawing file. This will allow the sewer pipe sections drawn in the drawing area to take the real lengths. Equally, contributing areas that you draw will have the corresponding extents value, required to perform the wastewater flows calculations of your design. Let's click the load button on the drawing tab to select the file in DWG format that will be our background plan. Once imported, note that it is possible to toggle its whole visibility using this option. To manipulate the background image's object's visualization independently, you have the Layers Editor here. You can change the color of each layer individually by double-clicking on the color cell or, if you prefer, you can modify it all at once by using this option at the bottom. In this case, we will just leave as visible those layers that allow you to see the urban sector's roads and lots division. So we have everything ready to start building our sanitary sewer networks components. In the next video, we'll show you how easy it is with our sanitary sewer design software.